Hello, welcome back. And yes, we finally have some more pay dirt. I bought my first bucket of pay dirt. I got it from Dylan over at Miller Prospecting. And here it is. Bucket of pay dirt. <laughs> this pay dirt is made from his tailings from his previously reviewed pay dirts. It has a 79% ROI based on the gold spot price on February 2nd. And then he sold 12 of them, so there's a 1 in 12 chance he did put a 2 gram nugget in one of them. Now, I've been spinning this thing for a while, kind of like one of those old toys where you try to spot all the things in them. I don't see it. But I have noticed a couple gems in there. It looks like, kind of like a polished sapphire of some kind. But I don't think I have the 2 gram nugget, but there's only one way to find out. And that's to open it up. So let's get started. Let's move this out of the way. And I'm excited to actually get to use these. I haven't actually used them on a new pay dirt yet. I've only gone through some old stuff and repanned out some finer stuff. So all I had before this was the kitchen strainer. So I got some smaller classifiers. We will start with the big one. I still haven't seen any pieces of gold just looking at it yet. We'll rinse that out later. We're going to start out with the smaller stuff first, and then we're going to work our way up through the different classifications. I'll get some water. Let's start panning this out. All right, we've got our tub of water. Got our fine material. Let's get this saturated. Get it really good. Swirl it around. Get some chocolate milk going. Pour some of that off. Most of the blonde sands are gone, so let's see if we can... Oh yeah, I can see the gold in there. Okay, so I got a nice little line in there. I think I'm going to scoop that up with a sucker and clean this up later. Let's... 
nice little pile on the fines. And we'll go on to the next pan. Okay, now we have our next size classified up. Probably do about half of this. I don't even know, I could probably get it all in there, huh? up and get this out of the pan and we'll go to the next one all right next one we'll do, let's do a little bit of time on this one Okay, put that away, I'll get the biggest stuff left. Alright, now it's finished up with the big stuff. Pretty sure I saw a couple pieces in there, along with what looks like a polished agate and a polished garnet. Must have dumped out the gems I saw or the polished stones I saw. Oh nope. Here's the garnet. Nope, must have put it in there. Oh there's I actually see it. Nope, maybe that's not it. That's it, right there. Got it. All right, let me clean that up. Then we'll pull out the scale and weigh it all up. I'm gonna start with the fine flower gold and just keep adding to get the total. It's gonna be a pain to separate it back out from this pan back into this container. I don't even know if I can get all this out, it sticks to the edges. I need like a little brush that Dylan has. Well, we'll get that cleaned up, but probably won't touch the scale too much. Okay, 0 0.054. We'll add the next one. So that amount of gold was roughly, what, 0.15? And then we'll dump the big stuff in. A little piece hanging there. There we go. 1.119. So we have a little bit over a gram of gold. I will probably take the larger pieces out and put them into my container of chunky pieces and the rest will go into my vial to add to that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will do some screenshots at the end here to get some close-ups of the gold so you can see its beauty. Until next time, thanks for watching.